Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the reason why, well, not kind of, that is the primary reason why I started company Kale Health Canada to empower others to take control of their health, their blood sugar, their gut health, so that they can feel their best in weeks, not years. Yeah, yeah so I, I do a little bit testimony to Jenny. So I, I was, when I met Jenny, uh, I, I was also pre-diabetic. I don't know what was my number, <laughs> you probably remember, but uh, I think yours is, was 5.9, if I remember, it was 5.8, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah so, and, I, and I, I, it's exactly the same story. I was eating perfect, uh, doing a lot of exercise, having uh, zero pain in my body, everything seems to be normal. I still was uh, pre-diabetic, uh, and uh, so, so we did microbiome, and, and that really changed a lot of things for me and I still work in progress, but I believe like it's, it's at least the right direction. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, so at least, uh, so, so it looks like a sugar is a, it's a root of all evil, so can you please elaborate on this? Uh, the, the, do we need more sugar in our life? Do we need less sugar? Is, is sugar bad? Why diabetes happens? Yeah, so that's a great <clears throat> question. And to say that sugar is the root of all evil is an oversimplified way of looking at things. I know right now in the pop culture, there's a lot of talk about sugar is bad, uh, anti-sugar. Uh, there is uh, uh, some social media uh, accounts like the Glucose Goddess. Uh, there's some books around like blood sugar, etc. So there's a lot more information out there. But really, sugar is not the enemy. 